Well, suicide is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. And when someone feels hopeless or overwhelmed, they may start to have thoughts of suicide. Simple actions can help you be there for someone who is experiencing suicidal thoughts. And joining us now, Laura Ramos, the CEO of Atlantis Behavioral Health Services. Laura, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Nicole, for having me here today um, discussing such an important topic as a matter of fact. Well, I do want to start with this important topic because many adults think about suicide or attempt suicide. And some stats here from the CDC, 13.2 million seriously thought about suicide. 3.8 million made a plan for suicide, again, all according to the CDC, and suicide attempts don't happen in a vacuum. They're a result of suicidal thoughts called ideations. So can you explain what that means? Absolutely, so ideations for the most part are presented by having negative uh, thoughts or a negative outlook about life. Um, that could usually um, be experienced by rumination or very negative thoughts. Um, they, and it's important to recognize also any of these signs for uh, with children and adolescents because they are usually displayed by um, harming themselves, such as cutting themselves, um, the, having oppositional defiant disorder. That's something that parents, um, it's important for them to recognize these signs. And for adults, for the most part, is isolating themselves as well. So if you notice that someone is not their usual selves, then that, that might be a good sign or a sign that you might actually want to uh, reach out to that person and find out if they're feeling okay. Can you give us some examples of passive suicidal ideations? Um, actually, yeah, that's a very good question because it can, suicidal ideations can be either passive or active. So passive uh, um, suicidal ideations can be just having the thought, for example, of not wanting to leave anymore or having the thought of not wanting to engage in their, in their regular activities, not necessarily having developed a plan of committing suicide. So suicidal ideation is when you're thinking about killing yourself and the thoughts might or might not include a plan to die by suicide, but not everyone with suicidal ideations acts on it. So are suicidal thoughts normal? Suicidal thoughts are, that are not definitely normal. Um, if you or, or any of your um, friends or close relatives are experiencing something like this, it is crucial that you reach out for help. And you need at this point professional assistance. Um, that could be any outpatient facility or an inpatient facility where the person can be assessed uh, properly by a licensed professional. So Laura, I think it's important for people to understand that having suicidal thoughts does not make you crazy or weak, but rather it means you're going through a challenging emotional phase that really needs medical intervention. So what are some of the signs that someone is suicidal? Um, definitely, that's such an important question. It is important to normalize uh, that is feeling, not feeling okay is normal, but having suicidal ideations is definitely not normal. Like I mentioned, may maybe expressing uh, negative thoughts such as not wanting to work, not, uh, not wanting to live anymore. Um, again, lack of engagement in activities as usual. That could be definitely signs of that something is not, is not going, going well with that person. And like with any other health crisis, it's important to address a mental health emergency quickly. With mental health conditions, crisis can be difficult to predict because often there are no warning signs. So where can someone find help? Um, there are plenty of resources. In fact, uh, here in the community of El Paso, there is uh, different uh, community partners such as ourselves, uh, outpatient services, inpatient. You can also have, if you have a managed care plan or a health insurance, in the back of the car there's usually numbers where you can call. A uh, case manager for the most part will assist you reaching out um, or assigning a, a, a provider so they can help you connecting you with uh, a professional, in other words. You can also go to an emergency room. Um, they will help you or they will link that person with also an outpatient or an inpatient facility. And there's also uh, another resource which is CIT, that is the Crisis Inter Intervention Team, which is available through uh, the local mental health authority. And you can also call or text 988, the Suicide Crisis Lifeline. You can chat online by using 988lifeline.org as well. And U.S. veterans or service members can also call 988 and text 
uh, then press 1, I should say, or text 838255. And just a reminder, you can watch this interview along with all of our Be Mindful stories on the KVIA ABC 7 CTV app, Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Laura, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for your time, Nicole. We'll still ahead on ABC 7 at 4.